Greetings, Mastermind Traders. This is Dr. Kenneth Reed. The topic this week is trading from the gut or intuitive trading. Looking at a cold chart, trading looks seductively easy. Hindsight is a beautiful thing. The lure of hindsight is that we imagine that somehow we could have or should have known what was going to happen at Pivot X or Pivot Y, the big drop or the big rally. When the thought of a beautiful winning trade flashes through our mind, even in fantasy, the brain generates a jolt of dopamine. This is our primitive hunter on the savanna imagining the big kill. And dopamine is addictive. It's the addictive part of cocaine. Curiously, more dopamine is generated by the thought of reward than by the actual reward. This is what kept those hungry hunters motivated on those long treks. If you are chronically low on dopamine, which has a genetic cause, one of the best ways to raise it is to imagine great trades. Each imaginative intuitive foray into a positive future generates a shot of pleasure, just like a rat pressing a lever. There's no harm in dreaming. The harm comes when we act on the fantasy and use our factual knowledge to justify the imagined scenario. It's amazing how motivated and convinced we can become about the profit potential of our own fantasies. Casino operators rely on this all to human quirk. Once we take action on a fantasy, we become so psychologically invested that we will ignore all disconfirming information until reality slaps us hard. Unfortunately, intuitive traders rarely learn from their mistakes. Therefore, trading from one's gut is one of the fastest ways to blow up an account. There's even a book by that name by one of the original turtles, Curtis Faith, who blew up a fund and faced personal bankruptcy. What's missing from gut level trading? Two things. First, an appreciation of the market's random nature. Read Mark Douglas or Talib's Fooled by Randomness. Intuitive trading is based on the fantasy that we have privileged information about the future. I call it mind reading the market. But the market doesn't have a mind or a plan and it doesn't know what it's going to do next. So how could we know? Second, risk analysis is lacking because the intuitive idea feels like a sure thing. Trading then becomes gambling. If you have a tendency to manufacture intuitive ideas and then act on them, it's important to nip this tendency in the bud as this is high risk behavior. Repeat the following affirmations after me. And if this doesn't help, please contact me for a free consultation. Hindsight gives the impression that the market is more predictable than it really is. Because money is on the line, the illusion of knowing the future in an environment of uncertainty is naturally appealing. But if I imagine that I know what's going to happen next, I'm in a gambler's fantasy. Today, I'm reminding myself that the outcome of each individual trade is part of a random distribution. And I don't need to know what's going to happen next to make money today. Today, remembering that I don't know what's going to happen next will help me manage the risk and reward more realistically for every trade I take.